Hey, Brandon here, and today we're going to look at collapsible text in Google Docs. This is very cool, very simple, and you can put it into play immediately, but we're going to look at it through the lens of this being a signpost of things to come in Google Docs. And it really all comes down to how we interact with Google Docs. So looking at this screen right now, this is the way default it comes out of the box. It's a traditional piece of paper that has margins. You can do, you know, page numbers and stuff like that. Um, and most of us sit down and we start to work with our pages this way. And we've done that for decades now. It's been this fake piece of paper the thing that's changed though is we're not printing near as much. We're actually doing more and more electronically. When we're not in the office, we check our, our phones for our documents or we get um, you know, our laptop out or we're using it desktop, but very rarely now are we consistently going to print out documents to be able to use them in that way. So it kind of begs the question as to why we continue to be constrained in that way, right? So if I go to here, you see these little kind of blue edge markings where the page margins are. I have a very narrow window in which to work. If I'm inserting a table or images or something like that, it's just very narrow. And so if I'm not gonna print this out, does it make sense to arbitrarily constrict yourself to that? I've switched over to Pageless for most of the things that I do for that reason, and I'll show you that. If you go under File and Page Setup, you can go to Pageless. Um, they, there will be a button down at the bottom that actually make, enables you to set that as your default. Um, but this is now that same document in a Pageless format. You can see I have a lot more room to play here. Um, and so if I'm not gonna print something out, this makes a lot more sense in a lot more use cases than I've found. But really, up until I saw the collapsible text, I hadn't really seen Google doing a lot of different feature sets that are only available in Pageless versus not being available in the page layout. But this is one of them. And so let's take a look at it. So uh, I will strategic plan and I'll do a wildfire goal and I'll do a climate action goal. Um, right, so these, this is kind of an outline for some of our strategic plan stuff. So being an outline, I want to make it easy enough to read. So I'm going to take the strategic plan. I'm going to apply a title form to it. Um, in the wildfire goal, let's go ahead and make that heading one. And in the climate action goal, we'll go ahead and make that heading one as well. Um, so under the wildfire goal, I hit return. It goes back to normal text and I'll do test, test, test. And let's say that I want to insert an image of a dashboard that we're, we're working on for this. So I'll do an image, upload from computer, and we will select that. We will insert it, and you'll see that it takes the image, put, drops it in there, and now I can write text around that uh, to be able to, you know, um, talk about... Test, test, test. Okay. And then underneath the climate action goal, uh, this would be more text, right? Um, all right. So now I want to make it easier to navigate. And I see the little charrette that shows up next to the header. And uh, you can expand the heading or collapse it. Now, this is a really simple thing. But it makes this document so much easier to navigate on the screen. And you may be familiar with some of this because you can look at it in kind of the document outline format as well. Um, but this just allows you to have it on the screen, expand and be able to add, contract and stuff like that. Um, so really easy. But if you are using the page layout, this doesn't work. And if you convert this to a page layout, it will expand all the text and do that as uh, a non-collapsible text. So you don't lose anything, but you definitely lose the functionality of being able to do that. And I think as we see smart canvas and smart chips and more and more interoperability with drop downs and tables and stuff like that, I think we're gonna start to see a shift towards designing how we're actually using Google Docs most of the time, which is not as documents. They're almost like very lightweight websites that have a lot more functionality, a lot more media multimedia potential um, and yeah, I just thought this was, it, one, I thought it was a very cool ad. 
Uh, but two, it's kind of the first time that I've seen an element that's starting to be designed uniquely for uh, pageless day-to-day -day document management, uh, different than maybe kind of the traditional word processing type page layout. So um, yeah, let me know if you see other things uh, that are starting to pop up in the environment that are unique to pageless. Um, yeah, I think it's a really exciting development and I'm interested to see where it goes. So hope that helps. At the very least, hopefully it'll make your documents a little cleaner to look at. Later.